All right, everyone, welcome. Let's discuss the quantity right now. Quantity is about how much or how many of something there is. In English, we have a lot of interesting words we can use. We are going to learn them right now. And uh, if you want, you can find it on page 32, and it is the chapter 3B. As you can already see on my table right here, I split it into four different groups. The first one is countable, pochilatelma, uncountable, nepochilatelma. Both, it doesn't matter, so pochilatelma, nepochilatelma, and then special. This would be for a special kind of cases, like questions or negative, we will see. Let's start with the word some. Now, some is used for both, right? Some can be used for uh, water and for cars, right? So I see some water, I see some cars, both are okay. So we can translate it as some, okay? Not many, that's the idea. Not many or not much. And um, if you want to ask me a question, that means vidite nyako vodu, then in question, some will become any. Alright? So here, question Do you see any water or any cars? This is used in questions and it's very important because. Any is basically the substitution for some. So some will become any in questions. And it will become also uh, used in negative. So we see it right here. Any. So I don't see any cars. Nevidim žádná auta. Nevidim žádnou vodu. I don't see any water. Okay? So, I cannot use some in questions, I cannot use some in negative. This is not possible, alright? I cannot ask you, do you see some water? No, you must say, do you see any water? And then you say, I see some water, that's good, that's positive. But if you want to use it in negative, then we say, I don't see any water. Okay, so these are the first two. After that, we, only, we can use a few and a little. As you can see here, this is uncountable. A little is uncountable and a few countable. A few means trochu nebo malo. A little trochu nebo malo. It's the same, okay? The idea is that in English we make this difference. So let's say a few cars, a little In English, there is a little problem with this, another problem, that you can also use it without the article. As you see here, there are articles, but you can also use it without the articles. So, few cars and little water. In English, you can say both, a little water or little water, or a few cars few cars. The only problem here is that it changes the meaning a lot. The only difference in meaning here is that little without the, without the article or few without the article, it means there is not enough of something. Not enough, right? Not enough. Or just here, not enough. Kdybychom si to přeložili, not enough, znamená, není toho dostatek. Let me show you some example, alright? I am very thirsty, má bohu řízen, and I ask you, do you have any water? Right? I want to drink. And you tell me, I have a little water. I have a bottle, I have a little water. Mám trochu vody, here, have a, have a drink, alright? It's, it's enough. You can drink, you will feel better. But if I say, I have little water, that means 
I don't have enough water for you. Uh, I have so little that you cannot really drink and enjoy it, right? And feel better. Let's talk about, uh, well, cars. There's a better example. Let's talk about, um, let's talk about eggs, okay? A few eggs. Několik vajec. And then we have a few eggs. Let's say that I want to cook, I want to cook, alright? I want to make some cake. And I ask you, hey, uh, can you check in the fridge? Do we have eggs? And you say, hey, we have a few eggs. If you say we have a few eggs, we have enough eggs to cook the cake. But if you say I have a few eggs, that means we need to go to the supermarket and buy more eggs. Alright? So you see here, there is a, like a little uh, difference in the meaning, and it's a very simple thing. You just don't use a. Uh. All right. Now, both of these can be easily uh, substituted with some. You will say some water, some cars. It's a very similar idea. Okay. Now, let's continue. This is one example for this. We have a few more. For example, many and much, many and much, I am sure you know them already, much is of course for uncomfortable, uh, for both you can use a lot, a lot of, or lots of, both are okay, right, lots of, or a lot of, lots of water, a lot of water, lots of cars, a lot of cars, it is the same idea as many and much, but many and much, Many is for comfortable, much is for uncomfortable. All right, uh, did I forget anything? Uh, yes, you can also use not over here. Not many, not much, all right? This is all in your book right now. I want to tell you a few more that are not in the book, but I think you need them in real life, okay? Let me show you more. There is the word a couple of. Couple of, all right. When you say a couple of, it is the same as some. That means there is not many, but there are some. If I say there are a couple of students in the classroom, there are maybe five, maybe four, maybe eight. All right, not twenty, but it would be uh, let's say the same as several, several, several. Again, is the same as a couple of, několik. Okay. But it must be for comfortable. Je to počítatelné. I cannot say a couple of water or several water. No. Okay. This is just for a couple of students, a couple of cars, a couple of uh, drinks, a couple of uh, bags, and so on. Several bags, several cars, and so on. All right. Let's have a look at this another special one. This time we have plenty of. And if you say plenty of, it's the opposite of uh, little or few, alright? If you tell me, there are, or let's say, there are few cars on the street, je tam malo aut, čekal sem více aut, chtěl bych více aut na tému věci, alright? Let's just say, and if I say, there are plenty of cars in the street, plenty of means there's a lot, and it's more than enough. It is more than enough. This can be used for countable and uncountable. Alright? But I'm saying it's special in a way because I'm saying it is more than enough. Let me give you another example. Um, I would like to eat chocolate, alright? And I love chocolate, let's say. And uh, I'm at home and I eat a lot of chocolate, you know, all day. And my friend asks me, hey, do you have any chocolate? You have eaten all the chocolate. And then I will tell him, yeah, open the fridge. There is plenty of chocolate. This would mean that my fridge has a lot of chocolate to offer and uh, we all can eat and enjoy it. All right? Plenty of food will be used for comfortable and uncomfortable. It can be for chocolate, it can be for cars. Okay, uh, fine. So, I think this should be quite enough. Uh, maybe there are more I can think of, but uh, 
these are the most important for you, for sure. So let's summarize, okay? We have some, and some can become any, or let's say must become any in questions or in the negative. Then we have a lot of, or lots of, this is for comfortable and uncomfortable. Then we have plenty of, plenty of is comfortable or uncomfortable, and we are saying that there's a lot and there's enough of it. And uh, then if there is not enough of something, we can say little or few. Few would be for comfortable, little for uncomfortable. So I would say not enough of something. As we mentioned the example, there are few eggs. So I don't have enough eggs to, to cook anything. And then when, when I say there is little water, I don't have enough water for you to drink, so you will be thirsty. Okay? Then we have many and much. Many is for comfortable, much, uncomfortable. And it's the same as a lot or lots of. A lot and lots of are for comfortable and uncomfortable. And the last one, a few or a little, they are very similar to this, but the idea is there is enough. It's okay. Right? So a little, trochu vody, a few, několik out. And now the last one, a couple of and several, only for comfortable, and they mean not many, they mean a few, alright? It's just like a few. So if I say a couple of students or several students, there are maybe four to eight, okay? So, thank you very much everyone. If you have any questions, uh, you can ask me uh, online, and uh, let's try some exercises in real life. Thank you very much for listening.